Hi, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the starter on this PT Cruiser. So maybe you think your starter is bad and you're not too sure if it is. The reason I know that it's the starter on this car is because I tested the battery. And so, you know, from there I wanted to go to the starter because whenever I turn the key in the ignition, absolutely nothing happens at all. So while I was starting it, I had somebody bang on the starter a little bit just to try and kickstart it, and the car started, so pretty sure it's the starter. I'm going to be showing you how to replace that today. Um, if you want to, just to confirm it even more, you can take your starter out and take it to an AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts, one of your local auto stores, and they should be able to test it for you so that you know for sure it's your starter that's bad before you go out and buy another one. For this video, I'm going to be replacing the old one with a used starter. kind of hard to see the starter on camera, but here it is right there. First thing you're really going to want to do is take off the air box. Um, I've already loosened these. You can just use a flathead screwdriver. Next, you're going to want to take the battery out. Right down here there are some clips that need to be undone. It's kind of difficult to show it. But that's the starter there and there's just a clip. You can pull back the tab with a screwdriver and then you should be able to pull that off. Next you're also going to want to take out the plate that the battery sits on could have done that right after you took the battery out too. Um, mine was on there really good. It actually broke trying to take it off. I could not get those nuts to spin. Next, we got a bolt right here. That needs to come out. It's gonna be an 18. You're going to want to take off the ground wire from the alternator. The bolt that I need to get out is in here, like in here. The extension is either too long and I can't get the ratchet here to turn, or it's too short and I still can't get the ratchet here to turn. The ratchet doesn't fit between all this crap here. And there's some AC piping down here, it doesn't fit behind, it's just a mess. You might have to take this little bracket off here too, uh, at least I did. I tried to get it out without taking this bracket off, but I just couldn't reach the bolt. So there was one bolt there to take out, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And uh, they were kind of difficult to get to. So now that that's out, we can reach that bolt right there for the alternator and finally get it out. So 
I've almost got this out. I can get it out by hand now. Alright, and there's the last bolt. I think we're going to try and pull it up from the top. Alright, here we are. Got the old one out. Time to throw the new one back in, the exact same way this one came out. This was a little more difficult than I was expecting. Um, just because of that one bottom bolt that I struggled to get out. But after taking that little bracket off, I got it out no problem. Hopefully this video was able to help you. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.